Good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to start this out right here in this little, it almost looks like a circle. These guys are so big. Let's see. You can see me. Ooh. Next to this tree. Oh. How you doing? Uh, I thought I was done, so I didn't bring my camera, my good camera that I'm supposed to carry with me everywhere. Look at that tree. Look at the gnarlies on it. <laughs> so that's enough of me anyways, because this is why I came down here. I came down here because it was so cool, but this isn't even it. I just thought this circle of trees was pretty cool. And I'm going to do a separate video after I talk to you guys. So this is where I brought you the other night. There's the trail back up there that goes to the camp to the right. And past that is bathrooms and a public beach and the boat launch. So I've come down here, all this way down here from where I turn up here, it's a uh, pet permitted. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, You'll know that we used to have a dog named Ruth. And if you haven't, there's plenty of videos on her under my playlist, Dogs. Um, she loved the water. And we have some excellent videos of her jumping in in Texas at the beach. Um, and here in different places. But I never brought her here because I didn't know they had such an awesome dog beach. And I feel bad because my other guys, all they want to do is pee on everything. Those are cool. I want one of those at home. Um, yeah, constantly pee on everything. So I took them back to the camper and I came back down because I wanted to show you this. So this is what I thought was the pet park. But that says pets permitted all along there. So I don't get it. You still have to have a leash on them. Here's some little cleanup bags. See, I don't quite get that. But even this is just as awesome. But what I really wanted to show you. Yeah, this is just a Michigan State Park, y'all. There are so many beautiful Michigan State Parks. Look at that water. Let me take you up to the water. Gotta show you. And I've shown you before, but I'm just like Ruth. I think Ruth was the only dog I ever had that loved the water more than me. Because I think she did. She would like swim until she was drowning and then still didn't want to stop. There you go. And it gets blue out there. Can you see the colors are starting to change? In some places, they've really gotten busy. But like here, it's still pretty green. But it won't be in a couple more weeks. Oh, look, it's a little red down here. I so wish I'd bought my better phone, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to remember to stick it in my bag every time I go anywhere, because you never know. So I was looking at my channel the other day. You know, it's taken me six years to get over a thousand subscribers, and even then just barely. Some people, they just catch the right algorithm train and boom, they are off. And a lot of people have a lot better editing skills and make beautiful, beautiful videos and deserve more, I think, viewers than uh, they get. 
because you know what? I would rather watch these people and their lives all day long than watch TV. And some of these stories are so good. I like the... I like the off-grid people, but not really. It doesn't have to be off-grid. I like people that are living a little bit on the edge and living a little, not so much on the edge. That sounds crazy. Um, you know, doing for themselves a little bit. Living like we used to live. Uh, putting down the phone or using the phone for this to go outside and do something rather than sit in a dark room with it playing some crazy uh, building a farm video game, you know? Look at that. That looks like where Sasquatch sleeps, doesn't it? <laughs> right by the water, it lulls him to sleep every night. So this is what I wanted to show y'all. Obviously that's a newer one right there. It's still silver instead of black. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to sit down on this log and show you around for a minute. But then I think I'm going to make a separate video. And I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Walk off into the woods for a minute. This is what really, I really like. Look at this big old tree. There's the water right there, right back in there. And it just gets dark. Look at this. When did this tree fall? When did this tree fall? How did they end up like that? Check that out. Isn't that cool? And I'm not sure this one is still alive. Oh, let me get over this without getting hurt. Let's see. I'm not sure about the other one. I think it's, I think it's dead. But I'm not sure. I think that's the little tree underneath it that's growing. But you know, how did that happen? That's a trick, isn't it? And actually, I didn't even notice that the last time I was here. I just wanted to sit there. Now I feel bad about sitting there. So look at this. Into the deep, dark woods. See the maple? Now, when you're in stuff like this, and this is nothing compared to what it probably was like a couple hundred years ago, you can understand why the Indians lived here, even though the winters were harsh. Because when they weren't, it was such a freaking beautiful place to be. And I'm sure the abundance of wildlife was something to see, you know? There is a big tree up ahead, y'all. See, somebody marked this. No, it's just a leaf. I thought it was a marker. And you got to remember that's right there the whole way. Can't you imagine when there was nobody around? Look at these guys. I guess they go like this because of the water. A 
water. <laughs> the winds must blow sometimes, you know? Look at that. It's live. Unhealthy looking. Maybe they're helping hold each other down, you think? When they go, boy, it's going to be a big boom. Here's a littler guy, too, twining in. Twining in. That looks like a basket, doesn't it? Look, that's that tree over there, and that's that tree. They are entwined together. That's kind of crazy. Reminds me of The Hobbit. And look at all this. It's all roots right there. I wonder if that's these guys. Look at that. It makes a hill. And this guy's standing right in the middle. Ooh, squirrel. See him? He's right. Where's my finger? There he is. Ah. They're not very afraid at the park. One was like, I don't know, six feet from me and the dogs just looking at us. There he goes. <laughs> and somebody put a bridge. This is going to take forever to load, y'all. Oh, and look, that is a maple attached to this big old pine. Isn't that cool? So I guess this is the end of my video. This trail goes on for quite a ways. Who knows how long? It's amazing. Um, I really want to come back here next summer. I hope. And look, look what I'm walking on. Roots. Look at that. We will see if the stars line, won't we? It's so amazing. It's just beautiful to walk out here. I'm sure my filming does not do it justice, y'all. I'm going to end it right here. Look at this. Look at these twisty trees. Woo. Look at this guy. Huh. Thanks for taking... A little walk with me. It's beautiful here, y'all. Take it easy.